welcome back on this Friday morning. I'll explain these gloves in just a moment, but let's quickly go over that weather forecast. Grab an umbrella on your way at the door, about 47, 48 degrees out there, but things are going to warm up just a bit. High temperatures around 53 with your low of 31. Tomorrow, though, high temperatures are 57, low of 44, partly cloudy skies. It looks like the rain's going to stick around over the weekend. Well, actually, Sunday, definitely Monday and Tuesday. And Angela, thank you for texting in this morning. She said, you know what, Channel 19 saying it's possibly going to snow on Wednesday. Well, well the Weather Channel says high of 50, oh, so wow. we think it's a little too soon to say, so we'll just wait and not scare everyone, but buy that milk and bread, I guess. All right, Miss Jenny. Chocolate, Dove Chocolate mm -hmm. Discoveries. Yes. Very good. Who doesn't like chocolate? I mean, I'm not a big chocolate yeah. eater, but I do like chocolate. Every, everybody loves chocolate. We're, yeah. we're going to make you a convert today, Gloria. Great. Well, yes. I'm going to put this microphone down. You tell me all about it. What are we doing? Okay. We're actually going to make chocolate truffles today. Have you ever made chocolate truffles before? <laughs> no, ma'am. Okay. They're actually very, very easy. Mm -hmm. um, when you're making chocolate truffles, there are two basic ingredients that you need. Okay. One is cream. Mm -hmm. The other is chocolate. Sounds Very good. Easy. easy, right? Okay. So basically what you do when you're making chocolate truffles, um, you boil your cream, you pour mm -hmm. it over your chocolate, and it gets nice and thick like a really thick chocolate syrup. Mm. Okay. And then you put it in the refrigerator and you let it set up and make a ganache like what we have here. Which so is very... Yeah, firm. Just very, cold. yeah, very firm. It's not going to pour out of there. You want it firm enough that you can scoop and roll it. So I actually did these ahead of time. Um, you have a peanut butter milk chocolate. I like that. Yeah. Does that sound good? Uh, we have a mint dark chocolate, and then we have just a plain dark chocolate. Now there are a few tools that I like to use when I'm rolling uh, chocolate truffles. One of which are these cotton gloves. Just makes the. I was going to say bend over, but they're not rubber, <laughs> so we're good. They're Sorry. cotton, yeah. So um, these are just uh, cotton gloves. It'll okay. make the process a whole lot neater um, when we're Did rolling you the truffles. All the cringe. <laughs> So, no, no, no worries. <laughs> um, so, don't be afraid of Jenny. Yeah, don't, don't be afraid. I'm just going to give you chocolate. Okay. So, what Very we're going to do, um, the tools that we're going to use today, in addition to our cotton gloves to make the process neater, we're going to use um, a melon baller mm -hmm. and a little cheese spreader. Gotcha. Okay. Good to so, go. a, a melon, melon baller. baller. You know, when you're cutting a cantaloupe or a watermelon, you want this perfect little round scoop. You've never, That's you've never done that? That's how that happens. That's how it happens. How well, <laughs> you, can do, you can do that, too. What's it called? Can't melon take him ball. anywhere. Melon baller. It scoops out your cantaloupe or your watermelon. He's easily entertained. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're making these at home and you're a real chocolate, chocolate, chocolate lover and you want to make them with an ice cream scoop, you can. Ah, bigger but, bites. Yeah, bigger bites. But we're going to do them with a melon baller today. So okay. what you're going to do, you're going to take your um, chocolate ganache uh -huh. and you're just going to scoop out. Oh, so a little it's bit. Not that. Mm -hmm. It's not super firm, but you're just going to scoop it out gotcha. like this, and you'll take your little cheese spreader mm -hmm. and you'll pop it out of there. You're going to get a ball, Jamie. <laughs> and just scoop it out of there. Okay. Oh, that? Just like that. Perfect. What is Perfect. That? That's peanut that? butter. That? Yeah. Of course. It's chocolate. Of course you can eat it. Don't touch my baller. <laughs> what do you think about that? Ooh, good. He's going to stick it all in his teeth. Mm. should have known. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Go away. I like That's that disgusting. stuff. Isn't that good? Mm. That is a peanut butter milk mm. chocolate, so I'll, I'll wait on you to catch. You know the first thing they say that they did a survey he did last week or maybe earlier this week, and the first thing you look at when you're a single person is teeth. <laughs> So, gee, let's get rid of don't look at ja Don't look at Jamie's teeth this morning. It's a good thing you're not single, Jamie. He's about to be. <laughs> it won't be the first time. <laughs> Probably not the last time either. <laughs> How much is this gonna cost me? Uh, all you got, but a you lot, got a it. lot of chocolate. Yeah, that's what it's gonna cost you. So okay. then you're just gonna roll it with your gloves. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you get your gloves nothing? dirty? I don't. I've never made a truffle before. She's gonna be a pro after today, okay. though. Roll a ball. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna roll your chocolate truffle like a meatball. And then you have the peanut butter. So I'm gonna recommend you roll it in these crushed pretzels. Gotcha. And I oh, isn't that a perfect ball? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> and you're just gonna drop it in the pretzels, and you're gonna kind of. There you go. Swirl it around. Swirl it. And I have a raspberry cocoa powder that I'm rolling mine in. Okay. And just pull it out. And there's our perfect little chocolate truffle. Just put it. Well, isn't you can that put it pretty. on your little plate or you can just, just go ahead and, and dive right in and eat it. There you go. Jamie, you want another sample? Well, yeah. I don't think okay. the handle is tea. Right, try this try it with really the easy. this is the peanut butter with the pretzel on it. So you'll mm -hmm. get a little sweet and a little salty at the same time. 
Well, what if I don't want to make these? What if I don't want to make these and I just want to purchase them? Yeah, you, you can you can do that too. Yeah. Um, we have uh, some wonderful peanut butter chocolate truffles that come ready made. We have delicious. Yeah. Go away. Yeah, sea salted caramels. We have lots of wonderful, I'm ready to eat items that you can just buy and open and eat. Instant gratification. Let's leave him here and walk over here. There we go. Follow me, Abigail. Mm. There we go. Now, over here on this section, let me take this off. Okay, over here on this section, tell mm -hmm. me what we have. Okay, over here we have a representation of some of the other products that we have. Mm -hmm. We have everything um, from delicious chocolate drinks, like our chocolate martinis and smoothie a mixes. Chocolate we martini. Uh -huh. Yes, I think ev everyone needs to experience a chocolate martini. We have wonderful, I'm um, ready to eat items that I mentioned. You just open, open and eat these. Cinnamon apples. Mm -hmm. okay. This is a brand new one. This is a spiced cocoa kettle corn. All right. Yeah, it's a little Good. sweet. A little spicy but absolutely delicious. We have our wonderful ready to eat. We have simple desserts like our new molten lava I cake. I busy during Valentine's Day. Yeah, pretty busy. Yeah, it's a pretty good time of the year. We have a, a molten lava cake that's oh, wow. very easy to make. Abby would like that. And our new savory collection. We have um, some wonderful sea salts nice. that you can add to your savory dishes. Okay. Um, one of my, or two of my favorites happen to, sea salt. Mm -hmm, happen to be our sweet and smoky chocolate barbecue sauce and our Brand new. Wait a minute, chocolate barbecue yeah. sauce. <laughs> yeah, our sweet. Where do you put that on? Um, you can put it on anything you would normally put barbecue Chick sauce really? on. Chicken, pork, um, uh, shrimp, and it actually, like chocolate? actually, I brought a little dip today that I'll let you all sample, okay. made with our barbecue sauce. And then one of my new favorites, and that is our new chocolate chipotle salsa. All right, chocolate lovers, if you like them. Who doesn't like chocolate? What, how do people reach you, Jenny? Yeah, absolutely. There's a couple of ways that people can reach me. They can um, call me. My business number is 256 679 0102. They can go to my website, which is www.mymydcd. Site, S -I -T -E, <laughs> dot com slash Jenny Johnson. They can also find me on Facebook. I have a Facebook business page, and they can actually get those truffle recipes that we made Great. this morning, as um, well as all other kinds of recipes and entertaining ideas. My Facebook business page is Huntsville Hot Chocolates. Huntsville Hot Chocolate. Make sure you log on. And don't forget Valentine's Day right around the corner. All right, Jenny, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Looks like everybody's going to be eating quite well here in just a moment. But finally, we're going to get some entertainment this morning. Valerie Mice is here, and we're going to talk to her in just a little bit. But we're going to try to go to her right now. Catch a song. We'll be right back right after this. You're old, Valerie. <laughs> this is Big Cat TV production. To Brooklyn, gotta find myself a job and spend my nights working on a dream. Gotta find a new apartment, some place I can't afford, and hope it isn't too far from the train. And tell me why. <coughs> tell me why. Cause a song called to me And I'll answer faithfully oh, What if I don't get this chance again? A year now has passed Since I've seen my father's house I'm going home to welcome back the spring I'm gonna walk through the garden I'll play a song out on the porch. A week goes by and I'll be gone again. And tell me why. Tell me why. Did I? Say goodbye. Cause a song called to me And I'll answer faithfully 
What if I don't get this chance again? Yes, it all comes to me. I accept it, thankfully. Who knows if it's going to come again? Well, I've been getting fat here on free drinks and dinners. But come the fifth, my rent is overdue. And tell me why. Tell me why. Did I? I have to try. Cause a song comes to me, and I'll answer faithfully. Oh, what if I don't get this chance again, 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 again? Faithfully, what if I don't get this chance again?